All right, let's take a look at problem solving. So how does our um, how does our justifications work into the problem solving strategy? Because first we're supposed to understand the problem. Then we're supposed to make a plan. Then we solve. And finally, we look back to check our answer. Where does the justification part fit into our plan? Well, first we think about the problem. Next, we make a plan. What are we going to do? We're going to substitute the information and solve it. Here is where the justification, when you're solving the problem, that's where your justifications come into play. Okay, so when we are writing a proof, it is the solving part of solving a problem. Okay, it's in the solve section because here's where we solve and have to give reasons for what we're doing. We can't just do whatever we want. <laughs> it has to be backed up by a mathematical definition, property, or rule. Okay, so that is where our solving part of the puzzle, that is where the justifications and the proofs that we're going to be doing in this class come into play. Okay, here we go. In the following solution of m divided by 3 minus 5 equals 7, what is the reason for our third step? Okay, so when we're solving this equation, first we write down the problem. Why do we know that? Our reason? Uh, we were given that information. What's the next thing you would do? Well, notice that the next thing we would do here is we would add 5 to both sides. If you were solving this equation, that's what we do. We had a negative 5. We would add 5 to both sides to remove it, which is what they did which brought them to m over 3 equals 12. That's the 2 down here. When we write down our justification, it's the reason we were able to do the step between these two. So what was our reason? The addition property of equality. That's why we were allowed to add 5 to both sides. You can add because of the addition property. The next step, what happened from here to here? Because our job is to write down the justification, the why, so we really need to know what happened. What happened between step two and step three? Well, we had m divided by three, and logically the next thing we would do is to get rid of division, you use multiplication. So we multiplied both sides of the equation by three, which canceled here and just left me with an m equals 12 times three is 36. What's our justification? Why can we multiply both sides of the equation by the same number? Well, our justification would be the multiplication property of equality. Okay, so it's whatever you're doing to solve, that's your justification. There is a rule or law that allows you to do that. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. In the following solution for 8x plus 4 equals 24, what is our reason for the third step? So we see our first step here is that 8x plus 4 equals 24. How did we know that? We were given. That's our reason. They gave us that. Given. Okay. Uh, the next step, we end up with 8x equals 20. How did we get there? How did we get that as our answer so far? Well, we know our next logical step when we're solving this equation would be to subtract 4 from both sides. So that's what we did. We subtracted 4 from both sides, and that left it with 8x on this side and just 20 here. What was our reason? Why could we do that? Well, the subtraction property of equality is what allows us to subtract the same number from both sides. We need to fill in this reason here. How in the world did we go from 8x equals 20 to x equals 5 over 2, or 5 divided by 2? Well, think about it. If you were solving this, how would you solve it? What would you do to solve this problem? 
Well, hopefully you said, well, we have 8 times x, so we do the opposite of multiplying by 8, and we divide both sides by 8, which is exactly what this person did. Okay, notice that gives you x equals 20 over 8, or 20 divided by 8. And we can reduce that, okay, right? Um, 4 goes into both of these, so we can reduce that. And we get 20 divided by 4 is 5, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we get the 5 halves here. So what was our justification? Why can we divide both sides of the equation by 8? Why can we do that? Okay, what property tells us that we can divide? Well, that is the division property of equality. Okay, that is our reason for that step. That's how we got from here to here. We divided both sides by 8. All right, here's one. We're going to do the full thing by ourselves, and we're going to justify each step. We are going to solve 4x plus 12 equals 32. Okay, so our first step is that 4x plus 12 equals 32. What's our reason? That was given. Almost always in a proof, your first step is given. How would we solve that? So take a look. We have 4x plus 12 equals 32. What would you do? Well, the first thing we do, we have a plus 12. We would subtract 12 from both sides. I'm going to put this step in red because really if we were solving the problem and giving our justifications, usually you leave these middle parts where you're showing your work. You leave that out usually. Okay. So I'm going to put it in a different color so that we know that that's our, that's our in-between parts. Okay. And what does that give us? What do we have now? Well, now we have just 4x on this side equals 32 minus 12 gives us 20. What was our reason? What's our reason there? Why could we subtract 12 from both sides? Well, that's the subtraction property of equality. That tells us we're allowed to do that. Okay, what would our next step be? We're not done. We haven't solved yet. Well, we have 4 times x. To remove that, we're going to have to divide both sides by 4. The opposite of multiplication is division. So remove that, we're going to divide by 4, divide by 4 on the other side also. Okay, let me put a division bar in there. Okay, what does that leave us with for our answer? And also, why were we able to do that step? What's our justification for that? Well, that gives us just x on this side. And 5 on this side. What was our reason? Why were we allowed to divide both sides by 4? We're allowed to divide because of the division property of equality. It says that you're allowed to divide both sides of an equation by the same number and keep the equation balanced. 